and in this video we're going to look at how to basic the basic movement of the legs okay so when we think about Tai Chi we, there's quite always talk about turning the toes twisting twisting the leg and while this describes a movement fundamentally it's wrong so movement should be coming from the hips the quad okay so um quads basically it's four quads so you've got the inguinal crease and the armpits so if i want to move my my left toe if i'm weighted so my weights on my right foot if i say twist move turn the toe most people just twist the leg so the rotation is at the top of the left leg so what we're looking for in Tai Chi is that the rotation is on the fixed leg. So as I turn my hips, it turns my legs. While this leg is fixed with the hip, as I turn, okay. Um, the same if I'm turning here, the movement's going to be on the fixed leg. So if you think about this as a pivot, whichever leg's got the weight on, there's a pivot so I can turn and how much you turn will depend on how much range of movement you've got in your hips so if I'm going to do a change of direction from a forward stance left forward stance turn to the right to a right forward stance so I'm going to sit back I'm going to pivot on my right hip so that's as far as I can go so that's as far around as I can take that foot I'm not going to turn my hips, I'm just going to push my weight straight across to the other leg. I'm going to lift the heel of my right foot. Now, because my weight's my left foot, I'm going to pivot on my left hip. From here, I can step forward. Bring my weight forward. If I need to, so I want to end up with my hips square. So if at the moment my, my left foot's turned too far out so my hips want to point slightly left so as i come over my right foot i just bring my left hip around bring my left toe around so again i'm pivoting on my right hip um that kind of goes through all the postures of tai chi and it's kind of one of the first things i want to learn when i have beginners in class it's normally spend the first two or three weeks just looking at that basic fundamental trying to get the hips working trying to get them twist come from the supporting leg rather than just turning the back foot that's easy this is harder well it's harder to get the habit of but once you get it it's actually much easier so the only thing that's moving is this hip here when I twist okay same so if I'm doing it the other way twist is on the left hip it's this hip twisting which should be generating a circular movement within the Tai Chi form rather than the arms themselves. Okay, thank you. So, if you're starting out, that's probably the first thing to practice after you've got your stance and your breathing, just getting the hips doing the, do the work. Um, if you're doing it for a long time, it's worth going back to that basics and practicing it. So one of the exercises we often do in the beginning of a class is quite a good one for doing this. So it's a shoulder. I won't put my hands in at the moment, so I'm going to change my weight. I'm just going to rotate on my right hip. Back, change my weight. Rotate on my left hip. Back. If you're doing this exercise, the important thing to remember is this is this is a joint we're moving here, not the ankle or the knee. So when I turn that, that's as far as my hips will go. If I keep turning, I can go further, but now my knee's twisted, which you want to try and avoid. So pushing my knee back, that'll bring me back to here. I only want to exercise the hip. So I'm trying to stretch out the hip. So I can do it on the heel. I can do the toe. Again. So here you're actually twisting both hips, but still the majority of the work's on the supporting leg rather than the empty leg. So uh, empty and full. Um, so you have double weighted. My weight's on my right leg. 
my right leg's empty, sorry, my right leg's full, my left leg's empty, weight's on my left, left leg's full, right leg's empty. So the movement should be over the full leg, not the empty leg. Okay, I hope that helps. Thank you.